everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to the 23rd episode of my Terraria Ranger playthrough. Now guys, thank you so much for the support you have been showing for the series and indeed for the feedback in the last episode. I had a good look through the comments area and one of the weapons you guys were saying I should make is something called the Onyx Blaster or Onyx Blaster. Whatever the hell you want to call it. But basically, the shotgun can be upgraded into the Onyx Blaster. And it is something that was introduced in 1.3.3. So it's actually a very recent addition to the game. So that's pretty darn cool. Now, we're starting off with a traveling merchant. Because as you can see, the cape. There it is, boys. We got a cape. And you already know we're putting that crap on right now. Heck yeah, buddies. Right, I'm going to take off the shield. I'm going to put it right there for now. And we'll keep it there. All right, so what have we got here? We've got a life form analyzer. Don't really need any of this stuff, to be honest, actually. So, eh, not too fussed about any of that. So, yeah. So, one thing I didn't actually realize is, check it out. When I'm flying, I'm actually emitting light. The fairy wings emit light as you go along. I didn't know that, and now I do. It's freaking sweet. <laughs> Something I only just noticed just before I started this episode. <laughs> kind of nice. But anyways, guys, some other suggestions from you guys included us trying to get the Daedalus Stormbow from the Hallowed Mimics. And yeah. What are we thinking? I think I want to try and go for the Onyx Blaster. What we need are 10 Souls of Night, which we actually already have. And we also require a little bit of the old uh, Dark Shards. Alright guys, so I've done a little bit of troubleshooting with regards to this house down in the bottom right here. In the last episode we had a little bit of trouble trying to get it to be a house. And as you can see, I've now made it suitable. So, here is the problem. If I went ahead and used a candle, it is not valid housing, okay? If I used myself a lantern... It is also not valid housing. If I went ahead and used a regular torch, it, for some reason, is still not valid housing. Whereas, if I use the frozen lamp here, for some reason, this is suitable. That makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. I have no idea what's going on there, but, uh, you know what? I'm just glad I got it to work, huh? <laughs> That's pretty cool. So anyways, guys, we've got ourselves the shotty. We've got ourselves the 10 souls of night. But all we need to do now is grab these battle potions, head over to the Crimson Biome, and farm out some dark mummies in the Crimson Desert. Let's do it, folks. Okay, there's not like a whole crap ton of Crimson mobs around here. Oh my god, what the heck, dude? <laughs> oh, I really hope I can get some uh, dark shards on these guys. Or dank shards, as I like to call them, because why not? This is hilarious. <laughs> There's so many dudes here. Oh, guys, check it out. I found my first dark shard. It's down the bottom there in that huge mosh pit of people that I can't get down to without dying. Well, I probably could, but it would be a little bit on the risky side. Oh, good lord of blood. There's a lot of guys. <laughs> Look at these dudes, man. There's so many of them. This is hilarious. Uh, well, I'm just sat here just camping this out because sometimes that's just the way to do things, isn't it? Look at all these guys, man. <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know what the percentage chance of dark shards are from these guys. So, I don't know. I've got a feeling it's something like one-tenth, but I can't. I'm not entirely sure if I'm entirely honest with you guys. But, oh, well. Oh, God. This guy's about to try and kill me. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't do it, man. Oh, he almost, he almost did. I'm just sat here just camping this out. That's all you got to do sometimes. All right. Come on, man. You guys all dead yet? I want to come down there and get my stuff. Oh, just the one. Just the one dank shard. It would be awesome if we can get another one. Come on, boys. Uh, I've got plenty of dark mummies around there, which is kind of cool. <laughs> this is totally the best way of doing this, like, for real. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Come on, man. Come on, man. Give me, give me another one of them dark shard things. Plenty of dark mummies around. <laughs> nice one. Hey, I wonder if I could get a blindfold from one. Because that's one of the things needed for the mega accessory, the ankh charm, right? Yeah? Hmm. You never know. You never know. Hey, there it is, folks. The last dark shard that I need. Oh, uh, now we can get out of here. Preferably without dying. That would be fantastic. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. This is going to be the very, very first time I've ever had an Onyx Blaster. So here we go, my friends. Wow, 33 ranged base damage. Wow, okay. Kind of nice. So I imagine if we get ourselves a decent one, we could get ourselves some serious damage out of this thing. Like I said, I've literally never ever had this thing. Very slow speed. Ooh, not really sure about that. Uh, right, do we have a goblin tinkerer? Uh, yeah, there he is. There he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, Nagurk. Give me a good reforge. Ten gold. Oh, my God. All right, deadly. Hey, that's more like it. <laughs> Thank you, Nagurk. Much appreciated there, brother. 
Nice one. All right, uh, where's my vanity chest? I put the mummy gear in there. There we go. Fantastic. All right, let's give this thing a go. Oh, wait, I don't have any bullets left. Dang it. All right, hey, buddy. In fact, no, hang on a minute. I need to collect your tax. Six gold. I'll take that. Thank you very much indeed. Appreciate it. Uh, let's grab ourselves some musket balls. Musket balls. Uh, these are twice as expensive, but I'm going to buy a stack anyway. See how they do. Okay, so here we go, my friends. The first ever time Python has obtained an Onyx Blaster. We'll see what it does. What the hell? Oh my god. It like shoots out a purple burst of something. What is that? That looks incredible, bro. Seriously. Wow. 37 range damage as well. Quite a lot more than my Phoenix Blaster. Wow, an Onyx Blaster. Dude, this thing seems amazing. Oh, it's not fully automatic though. You have to actually click it to shoot it. Uh, so similar to the Phoenix Blaster, you can't just hold down the click. You have to do the same with this. You have to, you have to click every time you want to shoot. Dude, this looks amazing though. Like the actual texture of the gun itself. That is so cool. <laughs> wow. That's actually really, really awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm chuffed to bits with that. I really am. <laughs> Nice one. Okay, so we've got a good Mithril Repeater. We've got a good Onyx Blaster. Although some more arrows probably wouldn't go amiss, huh? Uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> trying to think of what we could do next. We can maybe go down to the Hallow and try to get ourselves a, a Hallowed Mimic to spawn in. That'd be pretty cool, right? Uh, I'm going to take the bacon down there. If I know, do you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to eat myself one of them uh, marshmallow things. Right, and now what we need to do is head over to the far left hand side of the map and there we will be inside of the hallow yeah shouldn't be that difficult let's just uh, like go to the left of the elevator and then just dig away i guess all right guys let's see if we can't get ourselves some uh, some souls of light huh wow this weapon is really freaking good hey look a compass interesting wow dude this thing does some serious damage i'm quite surprised actually ha boom Wow. Okay, so like a, a two burst and then most... Oh, well, all of the enemies I've killed have been dead so far. That's amazing. Oh, oh, oh I hear you. I hear you there, pig one. Where you at? Oh, there it is. Oh, you sneaky little bugger. Go on, get out of here. Oh, what do you think you're doing? I oh, know you do not. You are not killing me today there, mom. Oh, jeez, there's loads of gals around. Ha -boom. Get wrecked. <laughs> wow, this Onyx Blaster is amazing. I love it, man. I'm so glad that you guys sent in your suggestions because I would have never have, uh, I, I would have not have known about this weapon in all honesty. There's a bound wizard around here somewhere. Where is he? Oh, hey, buddy. I found him. Sweet. So, we can buy the crystal ball from this guy and therefore we can make ourselves an endless quiver and also an endless musket pouch. So, let's buy one of these bad boys and that's, wait, is that pretty much all I need from him? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> nice one. Sweet. Has he got a place to move into? I do hope so. Only spare spaces? The top one looks spare. And the one to the far right is probably spare. I think we've got a couple slots left. Okay, cool. All right, buddy, you go back to base, all right? Hey, here we go, folks. We're starting to gather some souls of light now. We need 15 of them. Or, well, of course, if we could get a naturally occurring hallowed mimic, that would be awesome as well. All right, I'm going to head down here real quick. Ha! Oh, my God, dude. I'm telling you, man, this is an epic weapon for real. Ha! No, you don't. Oh, God. Oh, God. Him teleporting there was probably the destruction of my life. All right, there we go. Boom. Hey, buddy. Come on. Stop it. You got to stop teleporting around, man. That's just rude. That's just rude, bro. Wait, why is there regular blue slimes down here? What the heck? I don't get it. I just don't get it. Get destroyed, buddy. Ha! There we go. Everybody just got destroyed. Three out of 15, boys. All right, let's keep ourselves going. I might try and farm out enough to get two Hallowed Mimics, just so we have a slightly higher chance of getting some, uh, well, one of those beautiful Daedalus Stormbow things, you know? I think it'd be pretty cool to get one of them. Alrighty, guys. So I think I'm just about there. Yep, there we go. 31. We've got 31 Souls of Light now, folks. And we are looking good indeed. Hell yeah, folks. All right, so what we need to do now is get rid of this freaking confusion debuff. There we go. And then we need to grab ourselves out a couple of chests. Rather like this. There we go. Okay, and might as well go ahead and quick stack the mushrooms away. And yeah, I guess the time has come, ladies and gentlemen, to take on a couple of Hallow Chest Mimics. All right, so let's go ahead and start off. We'll do one at a time, because why not? And then from there, we'll do whatever we need to do. Uh, right, why can't I make Souls of Light? Why can't I make the key? Do I have to be at a crafting table? 
Huh, apparently I do. Huh, that's weird. I always thought you could just craft them straight off the bat without needing a good crafting table, but apparently I'm wrong. So, huh, that's totally fine. Learn new things every day. Alright, boys, let's go and put this thing in here. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a hallowed mimic. Oh, man. I imagine this thing will absolutely decimate him. Like, for real. Come on. Come on, buddy. <laughs> wow, it really is. 162 crit damage. Did you see that? Oh, hang on. We're getting rebounded here. Haboom. 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 Dude, this does a really, really serious amount of damage. I love it so much. <laughs> this might just be one of my new favorite early pre-hard mode ranged weapons for real, guys. Like, this is seriously, seriously good. All right. And boom. Get destroyed. Yeah, look at the amount of splash damage it does. It is really quite something, isn't it? <laughs> All right. He's got 2,000 health left. Uh, might as well keep you guys in. Obviously, the second moment we take down, we'll go ahead and we'll do off camera. Or we'll speed it up or something like that. Uh, boom. Go. Don't you take me down like that, Sonny Jimbo. Come on, then. Come on over here. Come on over. Hey, you're going the wrong way, buddy. A boom. A boom. Get wrecked. Get destroyed. Get destroyed. Oh, that kind of hurt a lot. Get destroyed. Get destroyed. And get destroyed. Come on. There we go. Ah, right, what have we got? Ah, oh, we got an Illuminati hook. All right, well, eh, better than the web slinger, I guess, in terms of... Wait, how many things does this shoot out? One, two, three... That's pretty decent. Okay, so that's a clear upgrade from the Web Slinger. The Web Slinger might be able to shoot out five times, but uh, it's it's still pretty cruddy in terms of its length or how far it can shoot. So, yeah, something to bear in mind. In the meantime, let's go ahead and uh, kill this other guy. And if luck is on our side, then... Uh, ow! Then we might be able to get ourselves a dangerous storm boat. If not, then we can probably move on to something else. Oh! No way, guys! <laughs> luck is on our side! Let's go! Let's freaking go, boys. Look at that. It's got less speed, but a lot more damage. Oh, mate, that's it. We no longer ever need repeaters. Oh, this is amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got another very, very powerful early hard mode weapon. Right, all of the stuff here is pretty much useless now. Oh, crap. I just accidentally shot the star cannon. Did not mean to do that. But, guys... That is amazing. We have ourselves quite the smorgasbord of amazing weapons now. The Onyx Blaster, the Daedalus Stormbow, and of course the Star Cannon. I might, I'm going to use the Star Cannon against the Destroyer first and then use some of these other weapons to deal him a whole bunch more damage afterwards. I think that'd be a good idea, right? Yeah. Mate, I'm so, so hyped. I'm so hyped about the stuff we managed to obtain today, my friends. Like, for real. Like, <laughs> I couldn't be more happy if I tried, boys. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, health potions. You can get chucked in there. Mana potions. I really don't need these. Like, I'm almost tempted to just start selling them because I really just outright don't need them. How much do they actually sell for? Each, that is. Uh, one silver. Yeah, 28 silver. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? So, eh, not too bad. We're up to 47 gold coins. Now, I do want to try and get something that's got both damage and speed. Maybe deadly, rather similar to this. Or unreal, obviously, would be really, really nice. But I'm pretty happy with the plus 14% damage. Minus speed. I don't think speed really matters that great a deal with this particular weapon. Because it just rains down from the heavens, like, constantly. Like, I don't think you're going to be without your firepower, is what I'm saying. It's pretty darn good. Alright guys, I think the next we're going to do is we're going to go and grab our gold back again. And we are going to make ourselves the Endless Musket Pouch and the Endless Quiver. Both of which I think are going to be very, very worthwhile getting. So all we've got to do is buy four stacks. That is right, four stacks. You've heard me correct. Four stacks of bullets. Four stacks of wood arrows. And then we've got to use the crystal board to make them into endless ones. So here we go. Here's our fourth stack. There we go, and now we need to head over to the arms dealer real quick. Hey buddy, what's your name? Deshawn. Deshawn. A strange name. I wonder if that's in reference to someone. I have no idea. But anyways, let's go ahead and continue on. 45 gold coins is now the amount we have. It's going to cost a fair bit to get all of this going, but you know what? I think it'll be much... I mean, it'll be, it'll be more than worth it. I mean, come on, you'll never have to get freaking bullets again, man. Crazy. And there we go. Four stacks of bullets, four stacks of arrows. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if we just head up here real quick. Oh, there they are. There they are. The Endless Quiver and the Endless Musket Pouch. Amazing. Amazing. That's right. We could just get rid of that. Get rid of that. And if we need any special ammo, we could just, like, have it in our inventory. But aside from that, everything else here is now pretty much useless for now. So I'm going to go and put them all away real quick. 
in the uh, ammunition chest. There we go. And look, as you can see, it's freed up some inventory space as well, which is really, really nice. The reason I still have the ham axe, by the way, is because I don't have an axe. So the ham axe is doing us the job for now, which is really, really awesome. But yeah, man, I'm feeling really, really good about the stuff we've done today so far. Right, can I make the GPS? Yes, I can. Even more inventory space has just been freed up. Incredible. Life form analyzer. I do want to go ahead and quickly see how to make all of the other informational accessory things. So DPS meter makes into the goblin tech. Uh, we just need a stopwatch, I believe. Yeah, we just need a stopwatch. Then we can make the goblin tech and then the life form analyzer uh, conforms or makes the REK 3000. So the wreck. <laughs> The Wreck 3000. Interesting. Okay, so if we get ourselves a travelling merchant again, we're definitely going to need to see what he's got. If he's got a stopwatch, then uh, we're going to be able to get ourselves the, uh, the the thingy thing that we just said. The Goblin Tech. Sweet. Okay. Right. We're looking good so far, folks. We really, really are. I'm almost tempted. How many, uh, how many souls and whatnots do we have in here? Oh, we can actually give it a go. We could give it a go. We could give the Destroyer a go. Do we dare? That is the question. We have holy arrows. Oh, holy arrows. That is right. We need to make holy arrows, man. Uh, right. Regular wood arrows. How many... Uh... Oh, we do. Got all of this stuff. Oh, my God. We could actually do this, folks. We could actually do this. Right. What else are we looking for? We need ourselves some vertebrae. So, vertebrae. 42 of the buggers. Very, very nice indeed. We need ourselves some iron bars. Uh, yep. Iron bars. There they are. Fantastic. So, now we can make ourselves the mechanical worm. And if I get myself a whole bunch more... Wait, can I can I make some now? No? I think I need some more wood arrows. I think it's 200 per time, right? So, let's just grab these. Rainbow rod, holy arrow. Yeah, it's 200. Okay, fantastic. That's actually really not hard to do at all, in fact. So, Mr. Merchant, where are you? You're out here. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Sweet! Oh, my God, guys, this is going to be amazing. If I manage to do this first time, I'm going to be so happy. Right, 479. I mean, uh, we've got six pixie dust. We've got uh, we've got a fair amount of time left. I might head over to the hollow biome real quick and see if we can't get ourselves some more pixie dust. Because that's what we need. That's our limiting factor currently. If we get ourselves six more pixie dust, we'll be able to make ourselves a grand total of 800 holy arrows. I mean, come on, man. I mean, there's no reason why I shouldn't farm for that, right? It's an amazing amount of stuff. Come here, little pixie. Come here, the Onyx Blaster will destroy you. Just accept it. There we go. All right, so we've got 17 pixie dust. I managed to obtain another unicorn horn. So now if I grab myself over a full stack of arrows, I should be able to make myself a whole bunch of stuff, right? Here we go. Is that all I need? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, so let's get over to here. And holy arrows, there they are. Oh, 1,000 of them on the dot, boys. Oh, this is going to be absolute bonus, man. It's going to be amazing. I'm so looking forward to it. All right, so let's get you in there. Let's get you in here. Wooden arrows in the ammunition chest. Iron bars in the iron bar chest or whatever chest. And can I, like, put them in here? And will it actually use them? Oh, it will. Oh, my God. Okay, so we just need ourselves some buff potions now. Iron skin, thorns will be useful. Uh, do we have the ability to make archery potions? If we do, I'm going to make some, like, straight out. Uh, yes. Oh, guys, we've got something really good going on here. We could really have something good going on here. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm looking forward to it so much. Let's have a little bit of this. And a shine potion, just because. And we'll give it a go. We've got the destroyer, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to give him a go with the buffs that we have on currently. I imagine a lot of my dudes are actually going to wind up dying here, but pff, oh, well. We'll do it anyway. We'll do it anyway. So, buff, go, and here we go. This is how we do it, my friends. 120,000 health is the amount we need to take down. As you can see, we are... Um... <laughs> um... Uh, I do believe that the term is absolute decimation. Oh, God. I was really hoping I wouldn't get killed. There we go. A little bit of health back there. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. So this is why the Daedalus Stormbow is like probably my favorite early pre-hard mode. Not pre-hard mode. My... Oh, wait. Is he dead? The destroyer's... Yes! Oh! <laughs> I 
killed him and then he killed me. <laughs> oh my god. What in the hell, dude? <laughs> we took him down first time. Oh, we didn't even use a hundred of our arrows. What? That's madness. Oh wait, the stuff is in there. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this has been the best episode in a while, folks. Oh my god, that is incredible. Truly incredible. There we go. Hello, bars. I can't. I can't put into words right now, my friends. I really can't. That is truly incredible. <laughs> on that note, ladies and gentlemen, time to end the episode on a high note. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to drop a like rating and hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. Tune in tomorrow for another Terraria video, my friends. But for now, it's time for me to go. Thanks for watching, folks. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>